Have you ever stopped to think about the amazing machines and inventions that firefighters use to battle blazes? Firefighters are incredibly courageous, but the technology at their disposal is pretty incredible too. Today, we are going to explore some of the most cutting-edge firefighting machines and inventions that are changing the game. From robots that can navigate infernos, to flying machines that can rain down fire retardant, get ready to be amazed by the future of firefighting. High Expansion Foam High Expansion Foam is a type of firefighting foam that expands to a much greater volume than regular firefighting foam. This allows it to cover a large area with a relatively small amount of water. High expansion foam is typically used in enclosed spaces, such as buildings, warehouses and ships, to suppress fire and prevent the spread of hazardous vapors. Here's how high expansion foam works. It is made up of a synthetic foam concentrate, water and air. The foam concentrate is mixed with water to create a foam solution. The foam solution is then injected into a high-expansion foam generator, which mixes it with air to create a large volume of foam. The foam is then discharged from the generator and fills the enclosed space. High-expansion foam is effective at extinguishing fires because it 1. separates the fuel from the oxygen, smothering the flames, 2. cools the burning area, and 3 reduces the evaporation of flammable liquids and vapors. Firefighting Gun IFAX The IFAX firefighting gun is not exactly a gun that shoots fire, but rather a special firefighting tool that uses short bursts of water to extinguish fires. It is part of the Impulse Fire Extinguishing System. Here's how it works. The IFEX gun uses a small amount of water fired in high-velocity bursts to put out fires. Water droplets are shot into vaporous bursts that can travel up to 120 meters per second and provide a large surface area for cooling. This allows firefighters to extinguish fires with less water than traditional methods. The IFEX system is often used in combination with a backpack or trolley that carries the water supply. This makes it a portable and versatile firefighting tool that can be used in a variety of situations. IFEX guns are especially effective at extinguishing small fires, such as those in cars or kitchens. They can also be used to cool large fires, making them easier to extinguish with traditional methods. Soundwave Fire Extinguisher A Soundwave Fire Extinguisher is a novel type of fire extinguisher that uses sound waves to extinguish fire. They are still in the experimental stage but show promise as a future firefighting tool. Traditionally, fire extinguishers work by interrupting the fire triangle, the three elements required for a fire to burn – heat, fuel and oxygen. Chemical and water extinguishers remove oxygen or cool the fuel, but sound wave extinguishers work by disrupting the flow of oxygen to the fire. These extinguishers use low frequency sound waves, typically in the 30 to 60 Hz range. The sound waves physically push the oxygen away from the base of the fire, essentially suffocating it. Soundwave fire extinguishers have several potential advantages over traditional extinguishers. They are clean, leaving no residue behind. They can also be effective on a wider range of fire types, including electrical fires that cannot be fought with water. Additionally, sound waves can travel around corners, potentially extinguishing fires that are out of sight. However, there are also some limitations to sound wave fire extinguishers. They are still under development and are not yet commercially available. They are also only effective on small fires and may not be powerful enough to extinguish large blazes. Additionally, 
The loud noise they produce could be a safety hazard in some situations. Sikorsky S-64 Sky Crane The Sikorsky S-64 Sky Crane is an American twin-engine heavy-lift helicopter. It is a civil version of the United States Army's CH-54 Tarhi. It is currently produced as the S-64 Air Crane by Ericsson Incorporated. The Sky Crane is a beast of a machine, capable of lifting up to 20,000 pounds of cargo. It's often used for construction, logging, and firefighting. The S-64 is designed as an enlarged version of the prototype flying crane helicopter, the Sikorsky S-60. Ericsson Incorporated bought the rights to produce the S-64 in 1992 and continues to manufacture it today as the S-64 air crane. The company has made a number of improvements to the helicopter over the years, including upgrading the engines and avionics. Explosion-proof firefighting and scouting robot The RXR MC-80JD is an explosion-proof firefighting and scouting robot designed to operate in hazardous environments where there is a risk of explosion. It is commonly used in petrochemical refineries, oil and fuel gas storage facilities, and other chemical plants. The robot is equipped with a variety of features that make it ideal for firefighting and scouting in hazardous environments. It is certified to be explosion-proof, which means that it can safely operate in environments with flammable materials. The robot is equipped with a thermal imaging camera that allows it to see through smoke and darkness. This is essential for firefighters who need to be able to locate victims and hazards in a burning building. It is equipped with a water cannon that can be used to extinguish fires. It is controlled remotely by a human operator. This allows the operator to stay safe from the hazards of the fire. The robot is equipped with tracks or wheels that allow it to travel over rough terrain. This is important for firefighters who need to be able to reach fires in difficult-to-access locations. Some models can also climb stairs, which allows them to access fires in multi-story buildings. Love 60 the Love 60 is a firefighting robot developed by Love Robotics, an Austrian company. It is designed to be used in situations that are too dangerous for human firefighters, such as enclosed spaces or buildings that are on fire. The Love 60 is a small tracked robot that is equipped with a water pump and a fire extinguisher. It can also be equipped with other tools, such as a thermal imaging camera and a grappling hook. Its tracked chassis allows it to navigate rough terrain, climb stairs up to 30 degrees, and even remove obstacles in its path. Operators control the Love 60 from a safe distance, minimizing risks to firefighters. Thermal imaging cameras help identify hotspots and help navigate through smoke-filled environments. Infrared sensors can also be used to detect flames automatically. Fire Extinguisher Ball A fire extinguisher ball is a spherical fire extinguishing device designed to be autonomous or manually thrown at a fire to extinguish it. They are relatively new fire suppression technology. No training is required to use them. You simply throw it at the base of the fire. When a fire extinguisher ball comes into contact with fire, it will automatically explode within a few seconds, dispersing the extinguishing agent. Fire extinguisher balls are small and lightweight, making them easy to store and transport. They are effective against several types of fires, including Class A, which is ordinary combustibles, Class B, flammable liquids, and Class C, which is electrical. However, there are also some limitations to consider with fire extinguisher balls. Fire extinguisher balls are only effective against small fires. They are not intended to be used on large or out-of-control fires. Fire extinguisher balls can only be used once, 
After they explode, they need to be replaced. They are not a substitute for a traditional fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher balls should not be seen as a replacement for a traditional fire extinguisher. High fog. High fog refers to a specific type of high-pressure water mist fire suppression system developed by the Finnish company Marioff, a leading technology in water mist fire protection. High fog systems use a fine water mist to extinguish fires. The mist effectively cools the fire and surrounding air, suppressing the flames. It uses significantly less water than traditional sprinkler systems, like up to 90% less. It is safer for people as it doesn't displace oxygen or leave harmful residue, and can be used for total flooding or targeted applications. High fog systems are suitable for a wide range of applications, including buildings, both residential and commercial, industrial processes and equipment, marine environments, such as ships and offshore platforms, and data centers.